We'd like to welcome everyone to a special podcast. We are here to give everyone a sneak preview of our 2010 season. We'd like to thank everyone for a successful 2009 season, and we look forward to making our events even better in 2010, as we will return to some familiar stops along with some new incredible venues we have lined up for you folks. Look for the formal schedule to be released October 1st. Take away dust and let the people know where we will kick off the 2010 season. The HJGT will kick off the 2010 season in beautiful Ponta Vedra Beach, Florida at the renowned Ponta Vedra Inn and Club, January 9th and 10th. Last year we played the Lagoon Course, and this year the event will take place on the famed Ocean Course. You don't want to miss this one, a once-in-a-lifetime chance to play this course. The next week, the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour will return to Sugar Lift Mountain on January 16th and 17th. This beauty is so unlike anything you will see in Florida. Sugarloaf Mountain features elevation changes that makes it seem like you are playing golf in California. For our third stop on the 2010 schedule, the HJGT will make its debut appearance at the Country Club of Miami in Hialeah, Florida on January 23rd and 24th. The Country Club of Miami West course is a Robert Trent Jones design course and plays 7,017 yards. With its treacherous bunkers, lush fairways, and rolling greens, this course creates a challenging adventure for players of all calibers. On January 30th and 31st, the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour travels to Kiowa Island, South Carolina for the first time. The tournament will be played on the Cougar Point Golf Course at the Kiowa Island Golf Resort. Cougar Point was redesigned by Gary Player and plays approximately 6,800 yards. It features a great blend of short and long par 4s, great risk slash reward par 5s, and extremely scenic and challenging par 3s. Kiowa Island, enough said. We are proud to also announce that we'll be making a return trip to Jekyll Island Golf Resort February 6th and 7th. Last year was a remarkable event with very competitive field throughout the boys' and the girls' division. Jekyll Island is one of our favorite stops each year, and we look forward to our return. Another new exciting tournament will take place February 13th and 14th at Lake Jovita Country Club in Dade City, Florida. The south course at Lake Jovita Country Club is interwoven through lakes, ponds, valleys, and lush vegetation, making it a premier golf destination for all junior golfers. Lake Jovita is located just north of Tampa, Florida. On February 20th and 21st, the HJGT will tee it up at the Marcus Point Golf Club in Pensacola, Florida. Centrally located in Pensacola, Marcus Point is one of the top golf courses on the Gulf Coast. The 6,700-yard layout features subtle cha challenges, making it highly enjoyable for golfers of all skill levels. We have another event that same weekend at Timberlake Country Club in Chapin, South Carolina. The Timberlake Country Club is located on scenic Lake Mary. This is the first time that we will travel to the Columbia area to host a tournament. Grand Dunes Golf Resort hosts the HJGT's nine stop on the tour on February 27th and 28th. The creative layout of the members course at Grand Dunes weaves throughout the area's natural pine preserves and along the intracoastal waterway, presenting a unique variety of shot-making challenges. On March 6th and 7th, the HJGT makes yet another debut appearance at the Amelia National Golf Club in Fernandina Beach, Florida. Designed by Fazio, Amelia National Golf Club is one of the most prestigious private golf clubs in the country, so don't miss out on a chance of a lifetime to play this magnificent course. I've played here before, and if you want to tame this beast, you better bring your A-game. Tradition National Golf Club in Hardyville, South Carolina, invites the HAGT back once again on March 13th and 14th. Located just two miles off I-95, this event brings top junior golfers from all over the southeast, so be sure to mark this one on your calendars. Next stop on the schedule is Brazelton, Georgia. The Hurricane Junior Golf Tour will play at the Chateau Elan Golf Resort, which is located just outside of Atlanta. The golfers will play on the Chateau course, which winds along three lakes and two creeks, causing water to come into play on 10 of the 18 holes, while 87 bunkers give definition and character to the course. Rounding out the month of March, the HAGT makes a trip back to Gainesville, Florida, home of the Florida Gators, where golfers will be playing at the Hale Plantation Golf and Country Club. Located just a few miles west of the University of Florida, this term is a great opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. You can visit the campus and play in a first-class tournament at the same time. After a weekend off for, East, for the Easter holiday, the HJGT returns to the ocean views of Sea Palms Golf Resort in St. Simons Island, Georgia. The event will take place April 10th and 11th, 2010. The Sea Palms Resort was the site of the first major of the season last year, and we hope to have a great field there once again in 2010. The tour will roll down south. 
Florida to Inferrari Country Club in Lauder Hill, Florida, April 10th and 11th. Yet another new fantastic venue that is filled with such rich history. Legends like Jack Nicholas, Lee Trevino, and Johnny Miller have all won at this facility. Be sure to mark this one on your calendar as we will be playing both the East and West courses. The next stop will be in upstate South Carolina, Cobbs Glen Country Club, located just outside of Greenville, South Carolina, April 17th and 18th. This spectacular golf course is a new addition to the HJGT schedule as well. Built in 1976, this course features bent grass greens that are large and well bunkered. April will culminate at the Orange Lake Golf Resort in Kissimmee, Florida on the 24th and 25th. Orange Lake is located in the middle of it all. The event will be played on the reserves courses. The reserves course will test your mental game to the fullest as course management here is key. On May 1st and 2nd, the tour makes its second appearance at the IMG Academy's Golf and Country Club in Bradenton, Florida. This tournament speaks for itself. Being in Bradenton, it is sure to attract a great strength of field. The HJGT travels back to South Carolina on May 15th and 16th to play the Rose Hill Golf Club in Bluffton, South Carolina. Rose Hill is low country golfing at its best with sparkling lakes, beautiful fairways, and an abundance of wildlife. The end of May brings the HJGT to Bartram Trail Golf Club on May 22nd and 23rd. Located just minutes away from Augusta, Georgia, Bartram Trail is the only public golf course to offer bent greens and features five par fives and five par threes. The first half schedule will end with the mid-season championship at Falcons Fire Golf Club in Kissimmee, Florida, June 12th and 13th. Last year's mid-season championship was loaded with talent and produced a large field. Falcons Fire is one of the premier courses in Central Florida, and this event will attract an even bigger and stronger field than it did in 2009. Well, that wraps up just about the whole first half schedule for 2010. We, ate, we at the HAGT will continue to offer a great value in 2010 with a low membership fee of $20, and events that range from $170 to $190, making the HAGT one of the best values in the country. We look forward to seeing everyone at an event in the near future.